Vince and set up with it like this. People buying it. He over there. And that was it. Wow. You know. But it was a formula. And what I was doing was my early work was a mixture of the 70s. I was born in 65. So in 75, I was 10. My father's buying Earth, Wind, and Fire albums and Ohio players and the sensuality and the black pride and so on and so forth. But I was inspired by Michelangelo, you know, and work like that. So what I did with my early work, it was a mixture of the 70s and Michelangelo. And it's still selling 20 years later because it's designed from some things that are timeless. Mm -hmm. It's not, there's no specific hairstyles. It's natural hair. It's new. Body still pretty much look the same except for <laughs> a lot of enhancement going on nowadays. But, you know, but, you know, that's, that's where it came from. And then I said, well, I'm just not going to disrupt it. I'm very into letting things marinate because a lot of times you can create so much work that the work doesn't have an opportunity to, to sink into society. Like they can't even take it in before you dethrone it yourself with your next piece. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like fine wine or anything else. It has to marinate. It has to, you know, nurture for a minute for it to take. It's not going to take all the time right away. You know, and my biggest fear you know, from our industry is we're creating masterpieces and they're just getting lost in the transactions. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because how are we going to find out it's masterful? We only have time to look at it. Yes, that is. You know, it's gone in somebody's collection. Mm -hmm. If you don't know those people, they don't invite you over to dinner. We don't even know it exists. You know, so, you know, my thing a lot of